So we started working with uh, Flash and this short uh, series of tutorials is gonna um, introduce us to HTML5 Canvas, which is basically the same program as Flash, uh, but um, there's a few differences that we should be aware of. First of all, like when you create a new project, um, you're gonna be creating an HTML5 Canvas instead of an ActionScript 3.0. So I want to start with that. Um, so click on that, and you see the dynamic is basically the same. You have your your main scene here, your stage. You have your properties here, and the library in a different tab. Um, your toolbar, and underneath you have the timeline and the output. These are basically the same. Um, places that you found in your uh, flash now there's one caveat here which is in order for us to publish uh, our projects correctly we need to name and export our files with a very consistent name like something that uh, is not going to be changed and I cannot be changed because there's a number of intricacies that uh, I'm not going to explore in this um, short tutorial but, but uh, we need to make sure that the name is unique and stays consistent so I'm gonna save this as in my desktop I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna create it um, Pablo Calvi without um, under uh, underscoring in and I hope you don't uh, and, and I encourage you to do not underscore anything um, button one and if you're creating a project for politics and you would put politics or sports you would put sports so I, I'm gonna name it Pablo Calvi button one and this is gonna be uh, politics it's a long name but it will prevent any problem from occurring um, when we are uploading this to the web. So Pablo Calvi got on one politics is the name of my canvas and you will see this is the extension is .fla and it's a canvas project. So I'm gonna create very quickly a button here so you remember how to do it using the oval tool it's gonna to be a green button uh, you remember it's a vector graphic so I have to turn it into a symbol so modify convert it into symbol it's gonna be called button one instead of movie clip it's gonna be a button here click OK and if I double click on it I know that it's a button because it has the up, the over, the down and the hit position. In the up position when the button is untouched it will stay green. In the over position uh, with, a, with a function 6 I will create a new keyframe. In the over position I want to change the color so I'm going to make it blue. In the down position so when I'm clicking F6 again I'm going to write something, just a simple high blue. And I'm not going to touch the hit position, but what I am going to do is in the stage, or so in the scene one, I'm going to add a, a code snippet, and this is one of the differences, to link it to a web page, right? So in code snippets we used to go to action script uh, code but now we're gonna go to HTML5 canvas which is available and then within the actions click go to web page I'm gonna click OK here and the script here is the same you have to replace it here in the green part so I'm gonna do Pablo Calvi dot save it and now I'm going to test it so you see the action here and 
again with command return I'm going to test and then you'll notice a difference which is that instead of opening a shockwave file SWF we have a browser open and now it's uh, the HTML is active and if I click on it it says hi and it takes me to publicality.com so the button is basically working so we got it here again and it goes to my web page okay so so far there's not too many differences the only main difference is that we are using um, HTML5 instead of um, um, for the widgets um, instead of action script um, and uh, the saving is um, when we save and, ex and, and uh, test it it will appear in a browser so um, so far it's basically the same remember how to name the project your name uh, button one politics or whatever um, uh, beat you're working and it will save it as a uh, canvas and now I'm gonna show you on my desktop this is the folder I created public copy button one this is the project It's an anime project which has a FLA extension and when you tested it it created both this HTML um, file and this extension JS which is a JavaScript um, now I'll show you what to do uh, in the next uh, tutorial but if we open the HTML the HTML calls the JavaScript uh, and uh, again we have the um, the JavaScript calling uh, my my WordPress blog. Okay, so far this is what we know.